Let's talk about a piece of equipment that may not be that thrilling and uh, lack the glamour. I'm talking about the tool that quietly operates in the shadows for the content creator, the tripod. Yeah, I know. Hear me out and then let's make a beat and put it to the test. Quick disclaimer, this video isn't sponsored. However, the good folks at iFootage did send these tripod legs and fluid head for review. With that said, let's dive into it. Let's talk numbers and features. Priced at 309 for the carbon fiber and there's also an aluminum version. Weight 1.91 kilos. It has three sections. Height from a minimal of 19.5 centimeters without the center column to a towering 165 centimeters with the center column raised and 135 centimeters without the center column raised and 63.5 centimeters folded. Now here's the Gazelle TC6S carbon fiber tripod legs paired with a Komodo K5S fluid head. Uh, quick heads up, the tripod doesn't come bundled with this fluid head. Red thick buckles to secure the legs. And there's even a handy Allen key tool for tightening included. Rubber feet and spikes combo for your outdoor adventures. Built-in bubble level so you don't have to adjust the legs. A 3.8 inch port on the side for mounting extras. Need more height? Raise the center column. Wanna go low? Unscrew from the bottom. You wanna lose weight? Remove it. You can also use it in underslung mode for some creative shots. Plus there's a sturdy hook for hanging sandbags or your backpack. Here's some behind the scenes, uh, side by side footage. And if you wanna see the full video, stick around to the end. Time for some pros and cons. The pros, solid build, effortless leg and column adjustment, smart self-locking leg mechanism. The travel bag is well designed and you can extend it with this hidden clever Velcro tab inside of the bag. So if you have a video head attached, now you just pull the tab and fold it out. Now, now it fits in the bag. So that's a really, really handy, nice feature, I must say. Let's talk about the cons, honestly. Uh, none for the legs. I have nothing to complain about. Uh, maybe a bit of effort raising the center column with my hefty camera setup, but besides that, I can't think of anything else. So the Komodo K5S comes with a quick release plate that you slide in and it's slightly raised for bigger lenses. And on the other side, you have this locking pin. And on the other side, you have this knob to tighten it. Big knob for tilt control. Now here you can see the counterbalance in action. And underneath, we have the knob for the panning. Uh, basic handle. Rosette mount on each side, which is nice, really nice. Now for the pros and cons, uh, great feel, uh, a plus for the reversible handle, uh, smooth pan and tilt with a bit of drag resistance. Uh, I shot my studio tour with it. I think it's great value for money. What I don't like, I wish it had the same mounting system like the Big Brother K7 and those fine tuning options for tilt, pan and counterbalance but at this price point, I'm sure you will not find one. Maybe bigger knobs. Um, they're not bad, but could have been a little bit bigger. And um, a telescopic handle would have been nice. But yeah, overall, it's a solid build and I'm pretty sure it will get the job done for quite some time. Now, who is this for? As well as the tripod legs, you might ask. And uh, I'm gonna tell you. 
If you're a traveling photographer or videographer, maybe the carbon fiber legs and the lighter weight suits you better. If you're not overly concerned about a few extra grams, don't require eight kilos of payload and your setup is more studio centric, uh, I would go with the aluminum version. Investing in a good tripod might sting a bit, but it will outlast your camera for sure. Price wise, the TA6S aluminum version and the Komodo K5S combo is a pretty sweet deal at $338. Uh, just saying, it may not be the flashiest, but it's the backbone of your visual storytelling journey. Unless you're doing vlog style and handheld. There you have it, folks. Um, it's not super easy to to um, I definitely needed a tripod uh, I wouldn't go a day shooting like this I can't barely hold this up so uh, so yeah let's take a look at the final video I hope you like this video if you're new to this channel subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I post a new video and bada beam bada boom catch you in the next one